Hey, how's it going everybody? Today in this quick little video, we're going to talk about a really fun tool that's out there available online for free called the MIDI gate. And it's kind of a oldie but goodie. But um, if you just go over to your web browser in Google, look up AMD MIDI gate, and you'll find the one that I'm using right now. There are several links where you can download it. It's a freeware. And uh, you just download the DLL file and install that manually into your VST plugins directory. And it'll look like this. You want to grab whatever channel of audio that you want to chop up. Could be a beat, could be a pad, anything you can think of. And insert it into the insert portion. And it'll pop up. Next, you need to go to the track that you want to chop up and create a MIDI channel. Bam. And assign that output to the plugin. Okay. And next, you want to go over and look at what, what we got here. We got a filter. Here's the cutoff. Here's the resonance, the bypass. We have independent left and right band pass, high pass, low pass. And there's a stereo enhancer that you can, uh, any of these, you can map to your MIDI controls, like we talked about in another video. There's some more sync parameters, um, an envelope for what goes on and off when you hit the keys on your keyboard. Basically, when you're hitting a black or white keyboard, it doesn't matter any note. It's just a binary off and on, up and down thing. It will chop up that signal, just like you heard in uh, what I had programmed here. And uh, I've used this as a shortcut to chop up stuff like a, a DJ would in a in a battle mixer, just so I didn't have to route a sample out to my Vestax. It's just a quick way. And um, like I said, just search for MIDI gate, or this one is the AMD. And it's real easy, simple, and free. And it's a fun tool to have in the old toolkit. So hope you guys learned something fun today. And we'll see you on the next video.